Factsverse presents How to Pick the Perfect Summer Fruits – Expert Farmer Shares His Best Tips You've already seen this numerous times as you went down the aisles of the fruits and veggies section at your local supermarket, people picking up this or that item off the shelf, feeling it, smelling it, pinching it, giving it a little squeeze here and there, and then perhaps putting it down and following the same process with the next one. Yep, you know they're testing the fruits in a bid to pick the best ones. We all do it, almost like a ritual. And yet, do we really know how to choose the best fruits or even what exactly are we looking for when buying our fruits? Well, if the answer is anything but a resounding yes, I suggest you keep watching because we have compiled the best tips to show you how to pick up some of the sweetest fruits this summer, and the advice comes right out of the horse's mouth – or shall we say, the farmer's themselves' mouths. So the next time you're buying a watermelon, a pineapple, a cantaloupe, or strawberries, keep these little tips in mind and we can pretty much assure you that you'll never go wrong. Watermelon Arguably the most popular summer fruit. Often the mere sight of those juicy slices may prove enough to soothe your scorching soul a little bit on a hot summer afternoon. But how do you choose the sweetest watermelon when you buy one? Well, here's how. Field Spot and the Webbing All watermelons will have this large, whitish-yellow field spot on some part of its body. The color of the field spot radically differs from the mostly dark green of the rest of the surface. Now, a field spot is where the melon was sitting on the ground while it was growing up, and it's the color of the field spot that tells you which fruit will be the sweetest. According to the tips the farmers have shared with us, the sweetest are those which come with a somewhat bright or golden yellow field spot, the ones that almost have an orangish hue to them. On the other hand, expect watermelons with mostly pale and largely whitish field spots to be the most bland in taste. Also. You need to have an eye for the webbing spots on your watermelon. Webbing results from bees touching the flower. The more pollination results in a greater number of webbings and also a better quality fruit. As for size, there are two things to keep in mind regarding the size of a watermelon. First, you should expect the best watermelons to be of average size. Too small or too big, they're not going to be the best tasting watermelons. Secondly, there are boy watermelons and girl watermelons. I know, right? The boys are taller and more watery, while the girls will normally have a roundish shape and will be sweeter. So keep that distinction in mind when you're choosing your piece. And finally, the tail. The tail of the watermelon. The best-tasting melons will always come with a somewhat dried-up tail. If the tail looks too green and fresh, It only means that the fruit was picked before its time and it's not ripe enough to give you the best taste. Pineapple We'll start with the color. As with most fruits, the color is often a telltale sign of how ripe or green a fruit is. With pineapples, the safe bet is to go for the golden yellow varieties, since they will be adequately ripe and the juiciest. With pineapple, some people have this tendency to pick the somewhat greenish ones, especially if they're looking to store them for a while. Apparently, the expectation is that they will go ripe in a few days when kept in the freezer, but that does not happen. Next, look at the leaves. A common practice is checking the leaves when buying a pineapple. But do you know what you're looking for? Well, this one is simple and straightforward enough. Check the firmness of the leaves. If the leaves are too tight, that's an indication that the fruit is not ripe enough. On the other hand, if they come out too easily when you pull, that means the fruit is overripe so settle for somewhere in the middle. Squeeze your pineapple a little, too. Despite the hard and spiky shell, the best pineapples will give a little under your touch. If it does give just a bit, it indicates the fruit is properly ripe and juicy. And finally, sniff the bottom of the pineapple. I know, that kind of sounded raunchy after I said it, but well, this is your most foolproof way for choosing the best pineapple. All good pineapples will give off a sweet aroma at the bottom. If yours doesn't, put it down and check the next one. Cantaloupe When choosing the right cantaloupe, first check the rind. This is your primary thing to do. Check the surface carefully for cracks, mold, soft spots, or some other defect. If the rind does not look perfect, then go for a different cantaloupe. Then look at the color. 
Look for the ones with a light beige outer surface and avoid the greenish ones. The green surface indicates the fruit is not ripe enough yet. Keep in mind, though, that the best cantaloupes will be a light orange on the inside, and that'll help you know if you've picked the right one once you cut up the fruit. Go for the heaviest ones, too. Yep, weight is a big factor with cantaloupes. Heavier, the better. That's simply the rule of thumb when it comes to cantaloupes. Tap the cantaloupe, too. Take the fruit close to your ear and, with your fingers, give it a few gentle taps on the rind. If it sounds a little hollow on the inside, then that's what you're looking for. That's the cantaloupe you want. Finally, smell and squeeze the cantaloupe. Just give it a gentle squeeze. The right ones should give a little under your fingers, but not too much. If it feels too soft to touch, that's an indication that the fruit is overripe and will actually turn on you soon. Also, don't forget to smell it. Bring it close to your nose and take a big whiff. If the fruit gives off a sweet smell, everything's fine. Otherwise, choose a different one. Strawberries When it comes to strawberries, these little tips relate not how to pick the best strawberries, but rather how to keep them fresh, since this is a common concern with lovers of this popular summer food item. First, do not remove the stems from your strawberries if you plan on storing them. This is the most common mistake people make with strawberries. This is a somewhat bewildering one, too, since even seasoned strawberry eaters will often fall prey to the myth that strawberries stay fresh for a longer time if you remove the stems. I say bewildering because it's actually the exact opposite that is true. Keep the stems on and remove them only when you're planning to eat your strawberries. Also, look for mold, just as you would for a rotten apple. If you find any one or more berries have developed mold on them, remove those pieces immediately out of the basket. That way you'll stop the mold from spreading to the rest of the basket. Follow these tips to pick the best produce this summer and enjoy them to your heart's content. Here's to a great summer ahead! What tips do you have for picking the best summer fruit? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more!